Welcome to the second part of this Kira tutorial. Now that we've gone over the basic controls and layout of Kira, I think it's about time we bring in a model. If we go up to the top left of the screen, up to Open File, and left click, we can bring in an STL file. If you don't know what an STL file is, please go watch the first episode of 3D Printing. For this tutorial, I will be using the spaceship model. So just double click your STL file and it should come in dead center. If the model hasn't come in dead center, right click on the model, center model to platform, and it should set it to zero. Now, the first thing we're going to cover is movement. So if I left click the model and go to the first icon, move, I can move this model around. I can either do that by typing in here, where I want to put it. For example, if I type in 10 millimeters on the x-axis, it will move it 10 millimeters in that direction there. I'm just going to put 0 on there to bring it back to center. So 0, 0, 0 is center of the plate. Or I can move it by hovering over the arrows, left-clicking and dragging like so. If you do this on the z-axis, it will put it back on the plate, as the model cannot be printed in midair. So for a second, just hover over the arrows, left click and hold, drag, just to get the hang of it. I'm just going to set that back to zero. That way we know exactly where the model is. There we go. And the next thing we're going to look into is scale. Now, there are two ways we can scale this model. We can either scale it using measurements or percentages. And as long as uniform scale is checked, that way we can scale the model uniformly. So if I enter, for instance, 60 in the x-axis, it will scale everything to fit the model so the dimensions stay the same. I can also do the same with percentages. Again, you can see the model has stayed exactly the same, however it's just been scaled to a slightly bigger size. If uniform scale is not ticked, you can scale these individual axes individually. To demonstrate that, I'm just going to hover over the x-axis uh, widget, left click and hold, and drag, and as you can see, it's only scaling on one of the axes. Snap scaling will increase the amount that the model is scaled by 10 increments each time. If I hover over the center of the widget, Left click and hold and drag. As you can see, it's going up in tens here. I think an easy way of uh, seeing this is if I reset this back to 1000. 1000. There we go. As you can see, it's going up in tens. The next thing we're going to look at is rotation. So if we go to the next icon down, rotate, left click. Now by hovering over the different colored rings, we can rotate it on different axes. For instance, if I hover over this z-axis ring, I click and drag, it'll rotate around that axis. Same with the x-axis and the y-axis oh. and the y-axis the axis, the uh, rings will glow when they are hovered over snap rotation will mean that the model rotates every 15 degrees if snap rotation is not turned on the model will rotate every one degree like so
next thing we're going to look at is duplicating this item. So if you want to produce more than one of an object during a print, what you have to do is right click the model, duplicate model, and it will put a, a copy of the model right next to it. Which leads us nicely onto our next icon, mirror. So we'll use this one as an example. If I click mirror, we get these little triangles pop up. And by clicking these triangles, it will mirror this object on a different axis. So if I click the Z axis, it will mirror it on the Z axis. If I click it on the X axis triangles, the red ones, it will mirror it on those. And the same with the Z. Now flip it around. There we go. The next item on the list is per model settings. Now, what this allows us to do, and we will go into it later in the, into detail in a later tutorial, is set up different print settings for individual models. This may be because certain models need more RAF. Uh, than other models and some models may be needed to be printed slower than others depending on the different qualities you are requiring. I'm just going to show you what it happens when you click it. So I've clicked this model here and it comes up with all the different print options which we will be going into later. The final thing we'll be looking at during this tutorial is the view mode. So we go on this little eye here F click, at the moment we're solid, so we can see the mesh of the model. If we click X ray, we can see inside. You can look straight through it, see a model right behind it. This allows you to see what's going on inside the model if you've got bits intruding inside. And layers. Layers allows us to see how the machine sees the model and breaks it down. So each layer is one layer of printing. So we can see here how the 3D printer is going to print the model. There we go. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.